first of all, welcome home. Thank you. Um, welcome home. I love that. Well, right? I mean... I'm a Michigander. Absolutely. Talk about the enduring legacy of this show. We're almost at, what, the 60-year mark, and there's still so much enthusiasm for it. Why do you think that is? I, I believe it's because it's about family. It's about, about um, how people survive, stick together, work on things, uh, work, 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 um, work on caring for one another, because you know how tough it is when, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, and, you know, getting in fights and being regular, but then ultimately coming together with love. Yeah. And, it's not it's not terribly overt. I mean, that sounds so cheesy, mm -hmm. but uh, it's. I think that's why. Do you think the um, the Netflix show? Do you think that exposed a whole different generation, maybe, to want to seek out the original? I, I think so. Yeah, yeah uh, it's so different. Well, yeah, you know, it's yeah. apples and oranges. That really, when you when you think of what is seen on on the Netflix show, right. I mean, with TGI, oh, and. Yeah. <laughs> And what, you know what? What we had is, is so different. I, I still, I still think what you had holds up. I, I believe so. I oh, mean, well, thank you. Maybe it's because I'm still looking at it from younger eyes, <laughs> but I watch it today and go, that that doesn't that looks pretty good. Thank you. Know, you. It does. So, I just ordered Bill's book. Uh huh. I've read Mark's. Can we expect something from you, maybe, in a book form? I've written a children's book. Yeah. I, well, it's not. It's a story. Okay. And it's about me when I was in the orphanage at age, uh, well, at age three. Okay. And it's called Birgit's Dream, because Birgit was my name. Right, right. And it's about um, Birgit wanting, because I, as a child, and I'm still this way, because I'm always outside working, but I, I, as Birgit, I could never get clean. My n fingernails were always dirty. My hair, my bow was down like this, right. you know, my knees, my shoes were always scuffed. And, um, but it's, it's Birgit's dream of having a family oh. and of having, having a mother and a father mm -hmm. and unconditional love, right. most of all feeling safe. And like, it's, like what happened to you. Yes, right. exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and it's for all the children out there that, have, um, that are without families mm -hmm. who have been displaced. Okay. You know, it's, uh, and when but, can we look forward to seeing that? I'm doing the art because okay. I'm an artist as well. Right. So I'm doing that now. Okay. I've done all the drawings. Now it's just a matter of figuring out how to how to how to present it right. in a way that children and adults will okay. uh, will like it. And um, film work. You have some films coming out. I do. Now? What, I do. That. I have a film coming out called Bachelor's Valentine, okay. directed by Lana Reed, who's just a wonderful director and and and. She's become a good friend, and um, I have. And Vernon Wells is my neighbor, and Vernon was in the Road Warrior movies. Mm -hmm. He played the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's the nicest man you've ever wanted to meet. Of course, right, they always right. are. And uh, he and I are doing things. We just did a film short uh, called uh, I'll, Bra uh, Brenda and Oliver. Okay. And it's hilarious. It's and it'll probably be at the Sundance. Nice. Directed by Brian Martin. Okay. And uh, it's just a wonderful story about two people and and uh, their marriage and and a little bit of their relationship and. Um, I still see that you you are still close with the surviving cast members. Yes. And that speaks volumes too. Yes. Because it's been so long. You worked together for just really a couple of years. But that kind of friendship has remained. That's very special too, I think. It is special. Uh, Angela and I went, to, uh, flew to England together when we did the movie, right. and um, and we hadn't become friends during our work. I mean, we were friends, right. but we, you right. know, we weren't buddies because there was an age difference. Right. Right. But it turned out that my mother had just passed, and Angela was so lovely yeah. and so caring and understanding and. And um, and so we became quite close during that time. And Billy and I have always been like brother and sister. Right. I mean, we always were kidding each other. He calls me sis. He always photo bombs me whenever I'm oh, doing really? an interview. Okay, okay. Where are you, Bill? I know he, should, yeah. he should be here. Yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you, my best friend from junior high, um, when the 1998 film came out. So we're, you know, I'm from Michigan, you know. And I was like, Rob. We've got to save our money. 
We saved our money. We flew from Michigan, and we saw the film at the Cin Cinema Drone. Oh my God! In Los Angeles. Wow. It was just because he was like me. We were Lost in Space fans. Yeah. And, um, we're standing in line, and Mark walks over. Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard. Over? And I'm like, I'm like, what's him? What's him? And I. Of course, my reaction to him was totally different when I first met him, because I was older and a little more right. refined. You know? uh, but yeah, that was fun. That was a dream come true to see it on the big screen with my yeah. best friend. Oh, Mark yeah. is hilarious. Yeah. I, he, he's so funny. I've never laughed harder than when I've laughed with Mark. He, and let's talk about the, the, the interest level still today continues when you come to these things. Yes. Um, that must make you feel really good. Right? Yes, it does. And you know what I love is that people are so warm and um, they come to me and say, oh, I went into uh, space uh, technology, aeronautics, because of Lost in Space, right. that you were such an, a great influence. And, and yeah, that, that makes me happy. I mean, you know, we were just a television show, right. but that we were the first um, adventure sci-fi family series, yeah. you know, uh, is important because it it it, um, it developed in 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 young people an interest right. in something that they thought that they would be able to achieve, and yeah, how great. wonderful is that? It's great.